Good morning! Happy Tuesday! <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys have your coffee? We need it here in LA today. It's a little dreary. Another day of rain, if you can even imagine. So, anyhow, I hope you guys had a nice long weekend and got out and did something for yourself, enjoyed it a bit. I hope you didn't have to work yesterday. But uh, today, so for coffee with Colby, you know what's interesting? I've been seeing all this, uh, all of a sudden, a lot of coffee with spirit lately on Facebook. I thought that was pretty funny. I'm like, okay, let's inspire. <laughs> Good morning, Keely. Oh my goodness. Good morning, Sean. How are you guys? Um, so today, I thought we would talk about uh, blaming spirit, right? The blame game with spirit. Good morning, Karen. Oh my goodness, good morning, Michaela. Everybody's here. This is great. So the blame game with spirit. And that really was inspiring because I kept getting these messages from people saying, spirit must not want me to do this because I've had some obstacles with it. So sometimes you may be, good morning, Suzanne. You may be experiencing obstacles with wanting a goal and then you're thinking spirit doesn't want you to do that. I, I just disagree. I just don't think spirit works that way. I don't think they're supposed to hand it to you on a silver platter. <laughs> you know, I think we expect spirit to just, if it's meant to be, it will just happen. And I, life doesn't happen that way. I mean, we're, this is why it's called life experiences. This is why you have a human experience, right? It's like, it's it's not a soul, soul you know, easy breezy. It's... You know, it's definitely these things that we have to overcome. And I think it's important because, you know, when I transitioned from tax manager to professional psychic medium, you know, doing this work professionally, I mean, you can't just say that was easy. I mean, did the clients come? Yes. Did I feel a sense of purpose? Absolutely. Did it feel right? Absolutely. But not for one second can I look back and think that, there weren't some obstacles in the way. Of course there are. That's for us to learn and grow and for us to believe in ourselves, to want something enough to say, I'm not going to let this distract me. I'm not going to let this get me down. Um, there are just a few things that happen sometimes and I think it's completely normal. It's normal for us to experience some hardships, but again, it's your approach to those hardships. How do you look at them? Are you learning from them, growing from them? But I don't feel that they're meant to stop you from doing something. Um, I think when you get an indication or an intuitive hit to stop something, like you know intuitively you're not supposed to, absolutely listen to that without a doubt. But when you really want something and then there's just these bumps in the road, I. Don't think that that's because Spirit's telling you you're not supposed to have it. I mean, we would not be doing anything or having anything if that were the case because a lot of times there are bumps. There are little there are little glitches in things. Um, and you have to say to yourself, you know, a lot of times I hear people say, I don't know why Spirit's doing this to me. And it's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe you're doing it to yourself. Maybe it's your own blocks getting in the way. Maybe it's that attitude. Um, maybe it's that not understanding at, at a higher conscious level. I'm not sure, but I think we really have to stop blaming spirit. Sometimes, you know, everybody calls in their parking angels all of a sudden. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of parking, you know, my parking angels get me a good spot. So. You know, what were they, crossing guards in the living? Is that what they were? And now, they, now they're, you know, promoted to your parking angel? Um, and then if you don't get a spot, what, they don't want you to shop there? I mean, I just think it's getting out of hand how much we're putting too much pressure on spirit. We're blaming them for everything. Where is, um, thank you, Lori, uh, where, you know, we're blaming them for everything. And no, we, we have to take some responsibility, but also not look at everything quite so seriously. You know, there's so many times that we have a setback or we have something in our lives that just feels impossible to overcome. And we allow that to stress us out, 
to get us under a rock, to put the covers over our head, all of that stuff. But, you know, it always works out, doesn't it? It really does. So it's if we can change that attitude towards the actual, while we're going through it, A, we'll get through it a lot easier and a lot less stress, and it's going to work itself out anyway. I just think that that's kind of how it goes. So, but yeah, I mean, it's like, Another thing, okay, right, okay, yes, right, okay. <laughs> How many times do you hear someone talk to spirit as if, give me, give me, give me, give me this spirit, give me that, give me, I hear that, I mean, I hear that all the time from mediums who are talking to spirit that way when they're connecting. Give me their name, give me, their, no, no, don't, I mean, if you talk to me that way, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> But, so you can imagine how they probably don't appreciate you talking to them that way. But even if you're in your life, you know, good morning, Rick. Good morning, Brooklyn. Even in your life, you know, are you, are you saying to spirit, well, give me this. Give me this job, spirit. Give me, you know, um, we have to watch our words. We have to watch how we're talking to this unbelievably loving force that is in our lives, you know, it's unconditional love that spirit has for us, unconditional in the purest form, in the absolute purest form without any expectations of anything in return, they love us, so look at how we're talking to them, you know, do you say it to them that way, do you talk to them that way, you know, and if you find yourself doing it, just catch yourself, Try to change the language. Try to change how you're speaking with them, connecting with them, talking with them. So, exactly, Suzanne, is treating spirit with respect and love. I mean, treat them with love. You know, treat them with kindness and opportunity. Again, when there's so many times when you wanted something and it worked out differently than what you wanted, but it actually worked out better it worked out better or it put you on a whole new path. That to me is, you know, being truly surrendering and guided by spirit and knowing that whatever experiences we have and that we're going through truly are for the highest good. Truly they are. And it is loving that. So, you know, ask yourselves, how can I raise my vibration and take responsibility for my actions and not play the blame game with spirit. Again, I, I'm sure you've heard so many people do this and I hear it a lot. I've heard a lot recently. One thing that is troublesome, maybe I'll actually do a whole nother coffee with Colby on this, but you're finding mediums who are posting on Facebook and really complaining about clients or potential clients. I think, um, you know, it's hard. I, I, I find that so sad i mean very very sad i think we it is part of our job description to be empathetic and compassionate and maybe to understand something from a different point of view and you know we are blessed to do this work we are honored so whether you're doing this work professionally or not you are blessed and 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 it's special to understand that connection that intuitive connection that psychic connection that mediumship connection with spirit and if you are chosen to do this work professionally, I mean, Spirit's not going to allow everyone to do this work professionally. They're just not. And the people that are complaining and doing all those things on Facebook about client things, I think, are really, um, are really creating a little bit of a hole for themselves and really not looking at why we're doing the work. So it's things like that that, you know, we got to let go of this blame game but also let go of spirit must not want me to do this spirit i <laughs> i tell you all the time all the time I, and i was like yes they do if you again it goes back you you know that hit if you want to do it and it's inside of you to do it then you're meant to do it okay you're meant to do it don't look at the obstacles or the struggles or um you know, maybe that spirit making sure you want to do it. 
making sure that you're clear on your vision because every setback we have or a perceived setback, right? It makes us look at something. Is this what I want? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Can I do it better? You know, so many times if something's not as quote unquote successful as we had anticipated, it allows us to reflect on it. It allows us to look at it. But again, when we bask in the glory of what we're doing and why we're doing it, regardless of what that is in your life. I mean, that doesn't necessarily have to be doing this work professionally. It could just be your own professional job. What do you want to do? And what do you want? Love, relationship. Okay, let's talk real quick. Mm -hmm. Relationships, right? Um, oh, you're dating someone or you really like someone and they're not reciprocating. Spirit must not want me to be in love. Like, huh? <laughs> what? what? Yes, they do. They're just, maybe it's not the right person. You know? <laughs> like, it's okay. Um, but I think if uh, we can learn to appreciate spirit, have gratitude for spirit, understand that that we have free will and we are creating some of these obstacles ourselves. We really are. I know I am. I mean, maybe through my own belief system or an upbringing or a perception. Maybe it's these life lessons that we're supposed to learn. All of those things factor into it. So, you know, I'm wondering if any of you have realized that you were playing the blame game and then when you look back, you go, oh, that, that actually was me. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but again, that's the beautiful thing about spirit is that they are forgiving and they are kind and they, you know, are loving and they are around us to help us. And yes, they guide us. Of course they do. And they show us things, but it's also up to us. We, we got to, you know, not blame them for everything in our life that is not working, please. And, you know, let's spend the rest of Tuesday showing some gratitude, an attitude of gratitude with spirit. <laughs> so, uh, love you guys. So, tomorrow is our hump day. Are we going to hump tomorrow? I hope so. Meet me. Meet me tomorrow at 10 a.m. We'll hump together. There you go. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Oh, thanks, Angie. Yes, I just got my hair done. Don't you like the natural streaks? <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.